This video is now brought to you by GeekRetreat.com What's up, people? Dr. Wolves is right here, and welcome to the new year! OMFG, people, it is January, and as you guys know, it is my birthday month! Oh, baby, yes! I made sure that this month is going to continue with the look. I got up so, because for some weird reason, every time when it's my birthday, the look plummets once again back to its original state for the new year. But anyhow, I'm making sure I've got some good stuff for you this month. Before we start, please check out GeekWithTreat.com. They are amazing as always. And today, to start this month off and start the year off, we are opening up a Costco exclusive. The Eevee Treasure Box tin with its promos and two big massive Pokeball tins. It is quite that big because I can't show you properly. I'm going to crack them open right now right in front of you guys so you guys know it's all here. You get yourself three beautiful EV promos, um, which are quite nice to be honest. This is the only way you can get them from, unless there is another way to get them. But here they all are. So there's your first EV there, your second, and your third. They're lovely EV cars, just to get you truthfully out there. And you get yourself a Premier Ball and a Luxury Ball, which are nice. So this is. These only came out. These only came out around about the Christmas time. I've had these for quite some time, so because I always want to keep them for special events. Uh, I still have quite a few of them still left for the past few past year or two. But they are very nice, and of course you do get yourself the awesome EV tin. Let me move this cardboard out of the way. It's a big mess of lump of stuff. So you get two. You get three products altogether for this big product, and I only paid I think back when this came out. With the um, with the tax and everything, or VAT if you want to call it for the UK or America, I think it only cost me around about thirty pounds for the whole thing, and literally that means you're only you're paying just for the treasure jo the treasure chest, the two Pokeballs literally come free. That's how freaking insane it is. But we're gonna open these up right here for you guys, and um, get it over and done with. Thankfully, I haven't cut my nails yet today, so luckily. I can open up some of the packages without using a trusty letter opener or a knife. What have you got? A knife! No! But anyhow people, how is your new year doing? Is it doing well for you? Are you having a good time? Did you guys have an amazing Christmas as well? That's something I'd like to know. What did you guys get for Christmas? Um, for me, as you guys know this is being pre-recorded so I don't have got a clue what, I, what I got for Christmas. <laughs> But you may find out down the line when I'm doing my live streams, when I'm been doing my pack openings and all that. Well, I'm sure I've told you then. Way the flipping Pokeball just opened up on its own. Please don't tell me this was a rigged booster bot pack. It shouldn't be because it's flipping thingy. But literally, that's how it looked like. I opened it up and it just went like that. So in this first Pokeball, you get yourself Sword and Shield, Dinosaur Blaze, and Rebel Clash. Three amazing sets that I do love dearly. Still trying to hunt down for that amazing Charizard VMAX card because we still can't pull it. And in this Pokeball, possibly the same. Yep, same thing. And of course you get yourself the coin. I'll put that to the side. We've seen these many, many times. And I don't remember if you guys have seen the EV tin, you know, the EV box before. Let's crack this one open too. make it official so you guys a lot of people well listen i have been this is the thing about this people people have been calling me out saying i have been rigging my pack openings and i don't understand why people think that because i literally open up everything in front of you guys so here is the lovely evolutions we've got vaporeon flareon and jilteon we're gonna open them up one after the other so you guys know how much one's worth so this is the flareon pitching so yeah it's been um, a bit annoying that people have been saying that my pack openings are rigged because my luck has just been impeccable month after month after month. Literally, it's just purely luck, people. I was not expecting it. I really don't expect anything like this to happen. It just happens. It really does. And I can't help it. I'm just freaking good at pulling packs. And of course, here's your code. And it's gone. So pretty much in these, you got yourself Vivid Voltage, Rubber Clash, Sword and Shield, Chilling Rain, Chilling Rain. 
And of course, inside the, the tin, you get yourself your um, utensils and everything that you do for school. Remember, people, you're going back to school, so you might as well get one of them tins down the line so you can get yourself some appliances. But anyhow, so right from the very get go, without even opening up a single pack, you get one, two, three, four, five, six holographics right there and then. That's definitely worth it as it is. But anyhow, let's stop jibber jabbering. Let's start off with a, my least favourite set, which would be a Sword and Shield base set, I think. Yes. Let's go with that first. So, wish me luck, people. Can we start this year off with a big bang? Come on. Let's see if we can do it. Here's your code. And it's gone. Put that there, and that there, that there, yep, there we go. One, two, three, four, let's have a looky. So we got an unlisted leaf energy right from the very get-go. Crushing Hammer, Ferrothorn, Aurora Energy, Diglett, Chinchow, Nickit, Score Bunny, Ponyard, a reverse foil, is that rare? No, it's not, it's an uncommon bishop. Oh, very nice, first pack of the year. And we get ourselves the Stonehenge card, the Stone Junior. That is a good start right there, a V card. Good start right there, people. My luck is starting strong. So keep this rolling, people. Next pack, Sword and Shield again. Let's hope we keep this train rolling. So right for the very good, good start, people. Start of the year, first pack of Destiny, we get ourselves a Hollow. Well, a V card to start off with. We've got Double, we've got Oral Energy, Lumberry, Ponita, Chinchio, Krabby, Chinchow, Baltoy, a Reverse Foil Grookey, and a Raichu Rare. Okay. Next pack, final pack of Sword and Shield base sets. Which these packs are actually are getting older now and they're getting harder to come by now, people. So, yeah. Nowadays, I'm actually opening up some stuff that a lot of you guys cannot get your hands on anymore. So, this is a bit of a luxury for you guys, as you guys know. We got Salazzle, Hitmonlee, Teamiel Grunt, Foa Seed, Rosalia, Rhyhorn, Sobble, Grookey, Irreverse Foil Silicobra, and a Cloyster. Alrighty then. So, first set done, Sword and Shield, and we've only pulled. One hollow, which is still good. Uh, my next set, that I, my next, my next least favorite. We're gonna go with Chilling Rain. Next, can we get ourselves an alternate artwork card? Can we get Zapdos? For goodness' sake, I've been wanting Zapdos for a very long time. Never got a chance to really pull it properly from this set. It's one of my favorites. Can we get it today? Mel Energy, Agatha, a Flannery. Old Cemetery, Gursley, Coughing, Delibird, Porygon, Farfetch, a Reverse Foil Rare, Zangoose. Oh, baby! Woo! We get ourselves a Rainbow Rare! What is this look, people? My look is still going strong! Oh, baby! Oh, my God! We got Fiona! Rainbow Rare! Wow! Oh my goodness, people! That is insane! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my! Come on, people! You can't complain! You really can't! Oh my goodness, people! This is insane! This is ridiculous! How? Just how is my look still going from the year before? This is 2023, ladies and gentlemen. January, my birthday month. My birthday month has always been a worst month for pack openings for Yu-Gi-Oh! and for Pokemon. I never get anything good. We got Thunderous, Reverse for a Rare, and a Cinderace, my mascot. Let's go. Good hollow. Oh man, I can't believe it. There's no way this is happening. Am I actually growing to become the king of luck on YouTube for pack openings? There's going to be people watching these thinking we need to, we need to kidnap Dobsey, we need to kidnap him. 
We need him to open up our packs. This guy is a king of opening packs. Next one is Rubble Clash. Can we get ourselves Joe Strummer? Oh, as a lot of people have been correcting me, it should be Mick Jones because he's the one that uh, destroys the guitar in The Clash. I still call him Joe Strummer because he was the main man for The Clash in my eyes. Even though it was Mick Jones' band to start off with. <laughs> we got Darkness Energy, Tranquil, Medicham, Morgan, Apollon, Hatiana, Arakuda, Meowth, that's right, a Surskit, a Verse Foil Rare, Al Creamy, and a Penguin! There he is! I am not calling it by its name because it's still Penguin to me. I always call him Penguin. Because it flipping is a penguin, that's why. <laughs> nice, another hollow. This is looking very good, this this pack up this, this year, what well, people? It's insane. Come on, one, two, three, four, let's have a looky. Next pack of Rebel Clash. We got cells, Metal Energy, Skunk Tank, Mob Peko. We got a Capturous Bucket, Stunky, Wingle, Grubby, Natsu, how do you do? We got Barboge. Sorry, let me go say Natu, how do you do? It's not my catch race. It's of course it's Leon Hart. I love you, Leon Hart. Let me use it for once. We got another reverse royal right, Al Creamy. Oh, and we get ourselves my dog. It's Bella right there. It's a Bolton V. Now a lot of people may be thinking, why is this my dog? Bolton in a real life animal is actually a border collie. It's a sheep dog, and my dog is a sheep dog. So of course it's one of my favourite Pokemon. It's a it's a it's a shepherd's dog. It's a sheep dog, as you guys know. Right, final pack of Rebel Clash. We haven't pulled any Joe Strummers or Mick Joneses, whatever you want to call it. At least we got ourselves a Bolton. No, that is really really good. Here's your code, and it's gone. One, two, three, four. Let's have a looky. We got ourselves a Fire Energy. We got Hatterim. We got a shovel. Phalanx, that's the first time I've seen that card before. That's uh, nice to see. Pidove, Dorumaka, Hatina, Scyther, Nosepass, a reverse for Penguin Rare, very nice. And an Abnusnow. Okay. To be honest, people, I'm getting a lot, a lot of reverse for rares, people. That is looking very, very promising, as you guys know. Very good, very nice. Next pack, Vivid Voltage. We're saving Dinosaur Blaze last because it's caught. It is the hunt for Charizard. We still want him from that set so badly. But for Vivid Voltage, if I can get Fat Pikachu as a Rainbow Rare, that is awesome because we actually have got it as a full art card now, which is amazing. Which we got uh, like near the end of the year, which was still amazing. Or midway for the year last year. Metal Energy. It's a drill. Nuz Nuzleaf. Opal. Whooper, the Dini, a Pikipak, Chutal, Riolu, a reverse foil Beldum. Oh, and we get ourselves a V Steelix. That is nice. That's the first time seeing that card. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. I love Chicken Nugget. I love the Banana. Okay, we got Steelix V. Very good card. I like it. But now it's time for the main part of this episode. Darnus Ablaze, two packs of Destiny. Can we pull anything good out of these two packs? Now, as you guys know, Darnus Ablaze has been reprinted only for these filler boxes now. You don't make booster boxes anymore. The only way you can get them out is in special boxes. So the pull rate for full art and for rainbow rares are extremely slim so if I get a holographic or anything that's really really good we got Pan Sage and I'm Am an Ampharos there we go see what I mean they are quite hard to pull nowadays to get holographics if you do get yourself a boost box of Darkness Ablaze you guys are super super lucky because they are extremely expensive nowadays Darkness Energy Semi Sage Semi Poor a Carver Squire Starly, Aeron, Cubchu, Rowlet, Jigglypuff, a reverse for Gotharita, and a Talonflame. Not, not, a good, not a good way to end it all off, but still amazing either way, because we just pulled Godly as always, ladies and gentlemen. Godly as always. Before we say goodbye, 
let's see what we pulled today. For the standard reverse foils, we got ourselves a Gotharita, Pan Sage, Beldum, Grookey, a Silicobra, and a Bisharp. For reverse foil rares, quite a few of them. We've got five of them. We've got ourselves the Penguin, two Alcremies, Thunderous, and a Zangoose. And then for the hollow rares of the day, ladies and gentlemen, wow, it's a lot of them, people. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's insane. So out of these six that we had randomly, that we already got, six we were randomly pulled. So that is amazing, people. So here's our hollow rares of the day. We got ourselves Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, EV1, EV2, EV3, Cinderace. Penguin, Steelix V, Bolton V, Stonehenge V, and our Rainbow Rare Fiona. Oh, MFG, people, to the max. If you guys enjoyed it, I surely did. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And like I said, people, this is my birthday month, so if you want to send me birthday wishes, go ahead. I always read your comments. I fucking love you guys a lot. With that being said, the people I'm a salute to you guys for subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Oh, MFG! Let's go! My year is starting strong! Let's keep this train rolling! I like getting these, these are nice. I don't have a clue what the volumes are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah!